Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Hurricanes will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. The Blue Jackets look to start the transition game. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Lead pass ahead. On the back end. Scores! And this place is rocking and rolling now. Well, I'm not sure what the coach said in the pregame speech, James, but it certainly worked. They came out ready to play. Gotta love this goal. I mean, he's got the defender just twisted like a pretzel as he's manipulating and showing those silky mitts and then finally puts it away. The Blue Jackets get on the board here first. I'm not surprised, Cheryl. This team has been buzzing already. Oh, they've been buzzing, but most importantly, James, they've been dialed in. You can see it in their intensity right from the puck drop and their first few strides all over the ice. They've been incredible to start this game. Through center along the wing. Looking to break out of their own end. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Tosses it on to Carolina. Carolina's gained the line and into the zone. Moves it to Ajo. Chris Lickens covers it up and will get a whistle. Well, I like this play, James. Sometimes as a tender, when you haven't been busy, you can get mentally lulled. But he is able to hold on to this one. Good play. Lots of time left in this period. The Blue Jackets lead it 1-0. Here they come up along the wing. Columbus plays it against the boards. Sends a pass over. And he had the answer on that one. And he takes the feed. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Denies him with the pad. Hopeless gaining momentum. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. And that's blocked. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Nietzsche takes it across the line. Moves the puck along the half wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? A timely save is everything to your team. Oh, save of the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Quick feed to Shea. And he slides it quickly to Jarvis. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And some good footwork to kick it away. Provorov's got the puck in his own zone. Pushes it across to Tessier. Snagged with the glove by Kachetkov! ability means he can distribute the puck so well. Walensky's a star defender on his team's blue line. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Stop that one. Back to the blue line. What a stop! Here's a short pass to Roslovic. Puck picked up by Jenner. My goodness, this has been a pressure fence shift here. Control of it at the point. Way too much congestion blocks that. Quick shot. Oh, and I think that pane of glass got busted after the shot as the whistle blows the play down. Well, that was a blast of a shot, and it just shows how strong the glass is and the technology, the new technology today, James, is it just spiders. But it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go, middle frame now 
underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Columbus has really impressed me with their start to the game, James. They need to continue it through the second. I mean, they've been aggressive on the puck. They have possession time. But in particular, they're opening up lanes and they're finding ways to get pucks to net. No block shots right through. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Moves it to the offensive zone. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Tara Vinen. Columbus has it in their own zone. From behind the net, looks to break out. Quick pass to Jenner. Keeps possession. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Texier is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And off the draw, they win possession. Take it along the wall by Sillinger. Carolina's got the puck. Handles that one. Merzlikens makes the save and hangs on for the whistle. Well, you want to pick your moments, in particular when you haven't been busy, and this is one right now. He has the ability to read the play and just hold on, get the face off. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Puck scooped up by Shea. Pad save with ease. Puck battle along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Gets it out of his own end. He grabs the puck here at the point. Loses his balance on the play. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Corrali. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you got to make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. And he slides it quickly to Corrali. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. They'll play some four-on-four. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. The Blue Jackets will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Here we go, pucks in deep. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Marchenko's got it into offensive territory. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And they manage to clear it. And now he tries to get it across to Goudreau. The Hurricanes gain possession of the defensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. Carolina's got the puck against the half wall. Moves it to Shea. Denies him, he got all of it. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Pokes the puck away. Bunting's almost back on the ice. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. And that pass is redirected. Here's a blast. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Quick feed to Jenner. Oh, that just goes wide. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, quick save. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Sends the feed in front. Oh, they score! What a play! Oh man, he's an
incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Blue Jackets have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Columbus looks to get things going now with the puck. And that's off a stick. Takes the bump but hangs on. Takes the puck along the boards. And that caroms off a body in traffic. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Here in the later stages of this period, Columbus is enjoying a 2-0 lead. Carolina's won the faceoff. Quick shot. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. Here's a short pass to Slavin. And he gets in front of that rocket. This is such a high energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Carolina's goal scorers need to find a way to finish on some of these chances as they continue to trail here late in this middle frame. Moves it quickly over to Slavin. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. And the middle frame almost done. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds the puck over to Burns. Looks to pass it to Corrali. Quick pass to Burns. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Now's your chance to play clean. Join us at our arena as the first sports team. three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. Final frame is underway here. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Carolina's had a strong 40 minutes of play, but it can be frustrating when you've been dominating possession and you look up at the scoreboard and you're trailing in the third period. you got to stay the course, continue to dominate that possession time, but figure out ways to get to the interior, not just hang out, be influenced to the outside. you got to get inside and make it count. Moves it to Tara Heinen. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Roslovic. With the puck inside the defensive zone. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. Shot in front! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the free square of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Hurricanes are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. The Blue Jackets once again send out their power play unit. Power play is struggling. you got to find a way to get the puck to the net. And you have to have net front presence take away the eyes of the tender. You know they work on it from a young age. Anticipation, puck tracking, depth perception. Take away the eyes. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Columbus will go to work here in the offensive end. And that goes off course off a body. Quick feed to Pesci. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Takes the feed. Handles the pass. Stones him in front. Tries to get it over to Stahl. Columbus looks to go on the attack. Big play inside the defensive zone. Stay convert on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the covers. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert.
Columbus hasn't allowed for any let up in the third period. They continue to apply that pressure. They're applying the pressure and they've dominated the game right from puck drop. I mean, their opponent has no answer or any pushback because of the way they're playing. First, Lickens hangs on for the whistle. We got a stoppage of play here in this third period. Well, this is a much needed stoppage in play, and this is what he's done all game. He's been able to save pucks. He's been electric at the top of his crease, and now he gets a much needed whistle. Columbus wins the draw. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Hurricanes gain possession in their own end. Here we go, odd man rush here. Oh, what a stop on the play, gets all of it with the paddle. Denied by the defender, nice block. Scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck, that's ugly. Carolina's not going down without a fight here in the third. Listen, they're behind the eight ball. They've got within two now. They're pushing the pace. They've got to find ways to execute, drive the lanes. They've had the puck the majority of the time. They just have to find a way to cash in. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Gets the puck in deep. The Hurricanes gain possession. And now he moves it quickly to Burns. Nietzsche moves it into the attacking end. Here's a short pass to Ajo. Hammers a shot. Great save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Who had the better night? Carlin is standing by. Ajo's getting my vote here, guys. I know it's been a tough night offensively for both of the players that we highlighted, but I think he's been effective even without getting on the score sheet. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Goudreau. The Blue Jackets move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it over to Roslovic. He got all of that hit on the play. Listen, James, the game is never over. Yes, you're trailing. It's late in the game, but anything can happen. And a spark right there with that hit. Just looking to ignite and get something going. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Blue Jackets have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Sends the pass over. Pokes it away in his own end. Monster blocker stopped by Merce Leakins. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation. Trying to gain a step. All alone. Stones him on the breakaway. The Hurricanes move it ahead. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Slides it over with pace to Boquist. The Hurricanes have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Moves it quickly over to Natchez. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. They've got the extra attacker out there. And Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, they have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll have to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. And now it's grabbed by Rosalind. Jocelyn for the pocket and loses control. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. The Blue Jackets power their way to victory thanks to special teams tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, and they can be the momentum difference, and they were tonight. You have to find a way to create opportunities off of them. That's exactly what they did, and it certainly showed on the scoreboard. And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. 
Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well. And from all of us here at EA Sports.